Welcome guys. Let's see how to build and release APK of an Android app. The link for this website is given below. The first step given is to add a launcher icon. We have already discussed about adding the icon to the app. To watch click the link below. To build an APK we need to create a keystore file first. If you are a user of Mac or Linux copy this link. Windows user copy the below line. Mac and Linux users directly run the command in terminal. For Windows we need to alter the file location, so I'm pasting it here. Alter the username as you have in your PC. In my case I have it as capital PC. The command key tool does not belongs to Flutter, it belongs to Java. So we need the location of the Java file. To find the location of Java run Flutter Dr. Minus V in terminal. Copy the location. Now open environmental variables. In system variables select path and click edit. Now click new and paste the path here. OK. Click OK. The key store represents us store the key file in the following location. .jks is the format of the file. Key size represents the size of the file, and this is the validity of the file in days. Ok now we cut this, and paste it in the terminal. Enter a password. The password will not be visible, so type carefully. Answer all the questions consecutively asked. Type yes to confirm. Now it is asking for the password we have entered before. File size of the RSA key and its validity is given here. Ok, now the key is generated with some warning. Just note the location of the key file. The warning says that the key format of the latest Java version is different so migrate to it. But it's not a big deal. Ok, next we can do the following steps. Go to Android Studio. Right click Android and create a new file. Name it as key.properties. Now copy the code given. And paste it in the file created. Enter the store password in the key password we have saved before. Now we need to edit the location of the key file, as given below. Before that let me make sure that it is present in the same location. Enter the location without the drive name. Now let's configure the signing in Gradle. Make sure you do the following change in the build.gradle file inside the app module. 
We need to place the code above the Android block. Copying it. And here is the Android block. Pasting above it. The errors here are due to Gradle failure only, and in your case it will not be there. The next code lines should be added before the build types block. Copying it. Now run Flutter clean in your terminal. Click the main file inside the library, and then go to build options. Click build apk option. So here you can see that the APK has been built successfully. The size of the APK is also mentioned here.